Well, welcome back and thanks for watching all of my call time spoilers. If this is your first, we do have a playlist that will send you through all of them in the end of the video. Make sure to give a thumbs up if you find any value. Today, we're looking at Battle of Frost and Fire, the new 5 CMC Simic Enchantment Saga. This card is absolutely broken. Let's take a quick discussion and find out why. All right. Five mana seems like a lot, but the value that the Battle of Frost and Fire provides is... Ugh, big woofs. So it triggers its first lore counter when it enters play, and then each on the following draw steps that we have, if you're unfamiliar on how enchantment sagas will progress. When it enters play, Battle of Frost and Fire deals four damage to each non-giant creature and each planeswalker. This is very reminiscent of a Storm's Wrath, which also costs four mana to deal four damage to each creature and each planeswalker, except now we're protecting against uh, losing our own creatures. Typically, Bone Crusher Giant would die to a Storm's Wrath because it only has three toughness. Now it will survive. You're just wiping your opponent's things out of play. Very nice, maybe in combination uh, with... Realm Cloak's Giants cast off to destroy all non-giant creatures as well. So, you know, there is hope on the horizon for Jezkai Giants. I find that the value just from the first trigger is almost worth it. You're paying one extra to avoid killing all of your Giants and treating it just like you would a Storm's Wrath. Not that bad, right? Typically, if... Storm's Wrath had the option to pay one extra mana to avoid dealing damage to your creatures and Planeswalkers, you would take that. Uh, it just gets better than that, though. We've got even more value. Next up, Scry 3. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good, right? That's an additional two mana value, at least in my opinion, anyways. And then finally, whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost five or greater this turn, draw two cards, then discard a card. So it's like a draw one, cycle two. Very very nice and of course this is coming uh, into effect after your scry three so you're gonna know what those cards are as well so you'll get rid of a dead card that was in your hand already and get those two cards that you just scried uh on the bottom of the three because the first one comes into your hand and then this will trigger uh and then you can maybe draw those two so really really nice stuff here with battle of frost and fire you know maybe uh I don't even see that you not taking advantage of the third step. Like, because it's a five CMC card, so you're going to have the mana to cast uh, a five converted creature anyways. So let's just see this as being all positive. You know, the wipe is worth it. You get to scry three. You get to draw two cards as well, basically. I really like it. It's expensive, but it's a field wipe. Field wipes are typically expensive. And, you know, if you can survive... Use Bone Crusher Giants to remove your opponent's aggro creatures. Now you've got five mana. This removes the rest of them. I like it. I think that this is going to uh, see play in Mythic rank 100%. Uh, if it doesn't, I will make it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for watching another Kaldheim spoiler. Let me know what you think in the comments below of Battle of Frost and Fire. Thank you so much for your time. Make sure to check out the rest of our Kaldheim spoilers in the playlist above my head, and we'll see you in a few seconds.